green, purple, or oh, wrong one, wrong one. Let me reverse. Remember to select the layer. Select the layer. Rasterize. I still select the wrong one. I, yes, I select the wrong one. Go in here. No, that that's gonna get me OCD on me, very badly. Click this. Click this. This. And now it's inside there. So it's pretty simple. This tool cuts out shapes and it actually fills in some of the shapes as well. If you have this if you have the color inside here, it actually form to the right shapes of the color. Same thing if I go to a polygon tool it will form to the exact shape and color that you're using. The line tool or custom shape tool custom sh oh yeah custom shape tool member up here. You could do whatever you want. This is the custom shapes. You could do whatever you want, but the custom shapes up here. And remember the lines as well. You could change it up. You could change the line depth. You could do it. And the line thickness. And the stroke, stroke width. Bug and the line tool. Self explanatory. You draw lines. The lines, the lines are, don't say the lines aren't there for no particular reason. The lines are there for a reason. It's good for separation, especially if you want to highlight or select a different layer. You can actually use it to help you with that. If you want to select or deselect a layer, you can actually use that. This is the hand tool. The hand tool is basically, basically for... Let's have that. The hand tool are basically for, uh, let's say this, it's for uh, scrolling, it's for spreading to screen, things like that. The hand tool is basically for moving around the whole screen instead of like this. I move around this whole thing, but the hand tool will just move around the screen. If my screen wasn't so big, <laughs> yes, if my screen wasn't so big, and I can move around with the hand tool. If you zoom out, you can see the whole image again, move around with the hand tool. But now I can move around with the hand tool. I don't know why. If you have a mouse, you just scroll up, scroll down, control plus, control negative. If you press control, you can also go side to side when you're scrolling. So I don't know why you really need it, but getting to learn the getting to learn them type of controls. It's very hard to start over it, so that's why I'm trying to say it's good to know this type of tool. Rotate view tool. Should I say it again? Self-explanatory. You, you click and hold and you turn to one side. Remember, it's rotate view. Not a rotate image. That means if you try to print this out, it will still print out the same way as you're doing now. It won't turn it portrait or landscape. It will print out the same image if it was in still inside, let's say, portrait landscape. <laughs> it will print out the same image like this is 8.5 by 11. It will print that out instead of printing out a 11.11 .11 by 8.5. And the last tool, there's two more tools I want to show you. And this is zoom tool. If you right click with the zoom tool, you can go fit the screen, actual pixel, or print size, and just basically or zoom out. 
You can actually click up here and you can zoom in mode. Click on the next one, you can zoom in. Pretty self explanatory. Some of these aren't self explanatory, but if you just read the name, it's very self explanatory. And this is the one I was using all this time. I was picking the colors for this. All you have to do is just, you have two colors set inside here. One is your foreground color, and one is your background color. So I set my foreground color to white and set my background color to black. So if I want to use white, I go back to white, use the paint bucket. And if I go back to black, I can use it and get the paint bucket. And now I am finished with the tutorial. Everything else you don't need to change no nothing else. It's basically self explanatory again. So that's all you really need. So let me just say this for this new series. This is serious about Photoshop. It will help you out with things that would normally be harder for you to catch, catch on to. See, because I notice people don't really go over in great detail what each tool is. They go over one or two tools when they're making something, but they don't really go over each tool. So what I'm going so what I'm gonna do with this series is I'm going to make a whole Photoshop guide. I know I'm not the best Photoshopper, but I am a pretty well diverse in Photoshop, especially in the web do for Photoshop and I make well in designs, things like that. Uh, funeral obituaries. Don't question that. Uh, I also help make uh, graduation design. Just say I'm just a pure designer, things like that. So I know what I'm doing with Photoshop, especially, and I also a photo editor if somebody need a photos revamped or if they have an old photo that is tearing up and things that I, if they have all the pieces of the photo, I can actually put it back together and make sure everything is good so they have a brand new copy of that photo. So let me explain what I'm going to do with the series. This series, I'm going to this is the first uh, lesson plan. This is just for the brushes. Then I will teach you about the filters and the images. Filters over here. You can have. I'm just going to I'm just going to teach you. I'm just going to personally show you what each does. I won't. I won't tell you how to use it. I won't tell you what to do with it. But I will just tell you what it does and where would it be good in placing it. Same thing with image uh, and how to edit it. And same with image how to edit it with the next episode. And I would hopefully want to get you all of this, teach you all the channels, and then teaching you how to do black and white images. And then we go on to some advanced photo repairing. We go into some uh, channel art creating if you're into that type of stuff as well. We want to go to do some very good uh, obituary planning. <laughs> Scratch obituary planning, but you get the main point of it. So, I think I got one example I can show you all. I think it's here in here somewhere. It should be inside of somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah. This is one of the logos I did. Pretty nice, simple. This is for this was one of the logos I did for a company. This is the logo they want me to do. That's, they got, they gave me this logo and I have to do everything else and add everything else in. I just try to make it symmetrical. So you expect the best. I also do simple designs as flashcards like this that you can use to fold up and put on. Things like that. Simple designs. 
and you can see how I did the brush. There are certain brushes I could add to look like it looks like you painted on, paint things on. And where was it? I don't know. Okay, look, I don't have it on it right now, but oh, here it is. This is one of the obituary. Or one of the obituaries, uh, front covers I did. It's very sad, but someone has to do. Has someone have to do it? But it's it was nice. It was I make sure I give it, give him a nice resting place, and and these are the little flashcards and the nice wood green things like that. Okay, so thanks for watching, trainees, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Have a nice day.